Hello everybody, welcome back to Spook Inspectors. There has been an update since this game has come out, since I did my last video. There's a couple of new places to explore, so we are going to jump on in. And developers, if you're actually watching this video as well, I would like to thank you for that very interesting email that you sent me about that sound effect not actually being in the game because it had me wondering where the heck the sound of the door came from because nobody was at home at the time. So, um, thanks. Now, I, now I'm kind of curious whether or not I can borrow any of these uh, items and check out my own house, but that is neither here nor there. We are just going to get on with the inspecting of uh, the new places. Ah, it's so cute. Is there anything new in here? Ah, I'm stuck. Uh, don't put anything too heavy. Okay, the duct tape. Okay. So, let us get out of here. Yes, let's go on an investigation. I am 12% to the next rank. And we are going to go to the vaults or Crampton's warehouse. Let's go to the vaults. Paranormal investigation of the vaults. The underground complex nicknamed the vaults is an abandoned structure believed to be once a warehouse, although local historian Filmer Scrubbins has decided that no one really knows who originally built it or for what purpose because city archivist Bud Winkle lost most of the records. Unlike most abandoned buildings, this one has only a small amount of graffiti due to certain incidences. Hmm. Local graffiti artist Gus Dogface Spode complained once when I was spraying some four-letter words on a strange voice said, hey, knucklehead. Then something hit me on the side of the head, even, even though no one was there. This sort of thing impedes my creative expression as an artiste. Gotcha. So don't spray the... Oh. Don't spray the walls with graffiti. Interesting. I, I guess that's the way back out, and I need to go this way. So let's go this way. Oh. What have we got here? Let's, uh. Oh, okay. We have already detected something. And I'm hearing. hearing sounds, unless, of course, that's coming from my own house, in which case we're just going to ignore that. Uh, there's water. Okay. Okay, so... Can I see anything, hear anything with other sources? I don't see anything. Oh, well, that's that's weird. No entities within... Are you telling me you can't see the, the glowy... Doors? Is that normal? Are all the doors glowy? Okay, that might just be a a game thing. Let's see. Let's hear. Drips. Gotcha. Okay, back to the temperature. Uh, where to go in here, though? I don't know. Huh. Uh, huh, not creepy at all. Not at all. Okay. I already have the flashlight. Let's just do a quick pan around with this. And I see nothing. Okay. Uh, temperature fluctuations. Oh. Gotcha. Uh, any chance you are you're feeling talky? Can you talk? And I don't think so. Okay. And I don't see anything else. All right. Straight across. Straight across. What about? This? I haven't really been checking the walls. Nothing on there. Nope. Well, that just looks like a portal to hell, doesn't it? What about this? Still don't know what this is because I can't really swap frequencies without screwing up my recording, so... Yeah, 
I, I don't know. Just out of curiosity, can we get the scroll between frequencies to bind to maybe the uh, middle mouse button? That would be awesome. Okay, let's go this way. I have found an unknown an anomaly again. Okay. So far, not finding anything hugely interesting in this place. As far as uh, bad guys go. Okay. And yet another source. So far, not finding anything besides spears. I don't see anything to indicate a poltergeist of sorts. Of course, I haven't tried spraying the walls either, so... Let's... I've detected that anomaly before. Okay. Okay. And I guess we are done. There really wasn't that much here. All I saw was orbs. So I'm going to say as long as you're not spray painting the wall, you should be fine. Yes, let's go on to the next area and uh, see what we can find. Crampton's Warehouse. Crampton's Warehouse is, is a disused building originally constructed by the dry goods wholesaler L.P. Crampton Company in 1851. Several deaths among the employees were blamed on incompetent bumblers pushing crates on top of their fellows. But rumors persist that something less mundane was possible. After the company went bankrupt, the place was bought by a success succession of buyers, all of whom put the building back on the market unused shortly after purchase. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, oh, oh my. Oh my. Okay, that's... How did I... Okay. I was going to say, how did I get in here? But, okay, I think I figured it out. Was that me walking? I don't think it was. Uh, I'm not getting anything on the EMF, so maybe I'm just being a little bit paranoid and hearing my own footsteps echoing. It's fine. It's fine. Nothing to be paranoid about. Just some, uh... Yeah, it's all boarded up. I see that. But... About that... I was just supposed to say I don't think there's anything in here, and then suddenly I get detected... Temperature anomalies. Oh. I seem to have found an unknown entity. Can I get you captured on anything else? Do you... show up in anything else? Okay. Well, I guess I've already gotten you, so we're good. There's a bit of fog, or smoke, or something. Do we go up or we go down? Could be weird noises in my house again. Could be. Oh. I see you hiding. Oh, and there's a thing back here. I would not even come down here had I not seen you. There's a thing back here. It seems to be locked. But why? Hello. You know, we keep saying these places are haunted, it just might be fairies. And all they want to do is be left to their pixie dust. EMF. It, 
it, it was picking up something just a minute ago. But I did not actually see anything. Do I have like rattles in my shoes or something? Or is the floor just that bad here? See you. Okay. And we have got another smoke ghost. Okay, okay. One of these days when I walk through one of these doors and it's just slam in my face and scare the bejesus out of me. Let us move on. How tall is this building? Doesn't seem very feasible for a warehouse, does it? What on earth are you storing five miles high? Oh. No full-bodied apparitions, no poltergeist. So I'm gonna have to say that your people were probably just being buttholes to each other and pushing things down on each other. Which seems unlikely, seeing how they resulted in deaths. Getting injured is one thing. Dying is another. Most people won't just... Say that again? I definitely heard something. It sounded mechanical. Like a crane or something like that. I don't know. I know that's definitely not a sound that came from my house. Why do I keep running into stuff? Don't run into stuff. I'm gonna keep an eye on that door. found that entity again. I was actually more interested in what it was that, uh, what it is that made that, ma that noise. That's, it sounded kind of far away to be honest with you. But it sounded like it was coming from here. Temperature fluctuation. Okay, okay. Um, I'm not actually seeing anything right now, but... Like, maybe it was coming from the basement? Uh, the basement that I can't get into? I kind of feel like I need to be able to use this more. Dark Spectrum Scanner. Right click on anomalies and switch frequencies. I'm not sure what this does. Should I turn my flashlight off with it? Oh, that's creepy. I'm gonna turn that back on. Uh, that back on. Yeah, yeah. Let's not do that again. All I need is for some kind of face to appear inside that screen and I might have a problem. Another unknown source. Is it like the longer you stay in an area, the more you're gonna- oh. I have found one. Hi. Oh. You are looking right at me. Hi. Let- let- no 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 no. Where are you? Are you still... Yeah, you're still here. Can I... see you via other things? Yeah, I 
can definitely make you out with this one. And that one I can't. That one I can't. Probably on the wrong frequency. Okay. So what, pray tell, are you doing up here anyway? Uh... Oh, and you're gone. Okay, well, I don't guess you're going to answer any of my questions, are you? Okay. Sir, could you kindly come back here? Because... I have a few questions. Do I need to break out my Ouija board? I will do it. Sir. Ow. My eye. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh. What am I hearing? Something is draining power. No, 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 sir. No, sir. Don't drain my power. Where are you? Seven. Yeah, I, I got you draining my power. I know you're over there. I just don't know specifically where. Okay. I know you're still in here somewhere. Just randomly draining my power whenever you feel like. Alright, well I found a full-on apparition which means my interest is peaked a little bit. So let's continue to look. Oh. Uh. Okay, so I found a thing. He's right there. So, can I get... Okay, I got that. Can I see you in this? No. Can I get some audio? Okay, so you're just gonna sit there, huh? Can, can I ask you a few questions? Oh, was well, that that was a cheap thing to do? I swear I heard a noise over here, though. <sighs> fine, 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 fine. Illusion skill, 100. But I think we've got 51 pieces of evidence here, so yeah, I'd say this place probably needs some help. Though they don't seem particularly hostile, but then again, they don't exactly have a whole lot of stuff they could do. is it for the updates so far it has been very interesting going through these areas it seems like the longer you stay in an area the more of the anomalies occur the stronger the force gets the more it does not care that you are there and therefore will show itself which makes it kind of interesting and i want to go and find out about the other areas maybe there's other areas that i missed things that i miss seeing though i would love to see how this game is going to progress i will see you all in the next video you have a wonderful day a wonderful night and you stay shiny 